Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the New Smyrna boat ramp, and as you can see, the bobbers are in bloom. Welcome to Credit Card Captain! Well, now that the intro's over, you can see the ladies over there. They're having fun. Get ready to go out and enjoy themselves on the boat. And they look like they're happy to see me. Well, maybe not everybody's happy to see me, but we're going to show you a couple good ones here. The guy on the green top comes in nice and slow. His other half is out there at the front with a strap in hand. He looks back, straightens it out, and sticks it right in. And she hooks it up. That's it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Slow and steady wins the race down here at the North Causeway. And like this one here, these two guys over here, you got the guy with the highlighter green, because good visibility and hand signals are a must when you're bringing your boat in. The ramp riffraff up there taking a look, see if anything's going to happen. If you haven't been here before, come down and see me. I might have some merch. If you can't make it here, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can grab something there. And you guys can use coupon code NSB. It's a credit card captain. It is him. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Well, we've all heard of those drunk bumps. That's where you walk and all of a sudden you trip and there ain't nothing back there. Well, New Smyrna Ramp has a tester here. They got this step that's not to conform to code. So the tread and the riser is way off. That right there will buckle your knee and you'll be sitting it out on the boat. Well, if it's your first time coming down to the New Smyrna boat ramp and you're trying to navigate the waters down here, the best thing to do is stay in the middle. Try not to get too close to the shoreline because you're going to end up like this. This pro line stuck like Chuck here. And thankfully it's only mud down there. As close as you get to the shore, it gets into oysters. But there's a lady on the other side over there and she's trying to push this thing out. I would not want to be there if that was me. You can see right there her leg and thigh over there. I think, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. Thankfully, this motor's in neutral and she's getting back on the boat here. Doing stuff like that could spell disaster. Credit card captain tip of the week. If you're going to get out, just lift the motor up and then push it. If it's floating, it'll move. And if it ain't, get more people out. Another breakdown within about five minutes. These guys are over here stuck in the mangroves. That's where all the no have sex and make babies and they come out and bite you like lions. Now she does the throw there and swing and a miss. Another one, swing and a miss. Another one, swing and a miss. Finally, got that thing hooked up. It's always nice to see good Samaritans. If this was me, I'd probably be left there. I don't know if she has that thing tied on or if she's just holding it, but it looks like they're moving. Now, I don't know if this is a rental or not. It's kind of hard to tell. That's what they use over there for the rental company, but I highly doubt it. I think this is an own boat. Maintenance is key right when you're coming out of winter. Oh, did you see that? There's a little turtle that popped up right there. Got a lot of sea turtles in here. But what I was saying is maintenance is key. You gotta do the basic maintenance like spark plugs, fuel filters, and all the other stuff. Cause you're gonna end up like these guys, getting towed through the busiest part of this little lagoon here when all the boats are coming in. Got a couple more fans waving saying hi.
It doesn't take long, and like I said, maintenance is key. You want to make sure you got a clean boat. A clean boat's a happy boat. Now he might be on the phone with the customer service trying to figure out what's next. We're going to be taking a look at another one here. This young whippersnapper bringing the boat in. I like seeing the young captains because I started when I was about 12 years old. It was an aluminum John boat with a nine and a half horsepower and I carried around a bunch of shear pins because we tore up oyster beds all day long. I didn't know where I was going and I was having fun. I gotta have my head on a swivel. Something else was happening over here on the right hand side. But it settled down. So let's get back to this guy right here. Nice and smooth. Puts it right on. There you go. On to the next one. I can see this guy's tires are in the water. They're up to the tire bead right there. He's a little bit deep and the trailer's floating. Look at this. There he is, sideways. He gets it corrected pretty quickly there. And this is how you tear off bunks if you're still in gear. We've seen it time and time again. And that good old saying, deeper's not always better. Only in some instances. Well, he's hooked up. That thing settled all right. He gives it one little stomp there to make sure it's on the trailer nice and good. There it is. Well, I want to share this yellow fin doing the Smyrna backup right here. He's getting in position till his trailer gets here. I'm just admiring the boat. Nothing crazy. And I do have to give it to you, Captain's full disclosure, I'm boatless now. I just sold mine the other day. I just had a little 18 foot and had a lot of fun with it. But as summer comes, everything's for sale. Well, we're going to take a look at this one over here. That's a situation you don't want to be in. He's probing around trying to bottom out, push that thing along. They're actually doing a pretty good job. Now, from the looks of it, his trajectory looks like it's going pretty good here, and he might make it right over to the ramp. I think the regulations say you got to have an oar on the boat. Well, this is probably the reason why. And if it doesn't, you should have one. I missed a little whiskey throttle. Now i got to see what this lady's doing here. Looking good, nice and slow. Yeah, that works out good. Alright, looks like they're stalling out here. Something's going on. I think he's trying to make it over here to the dock. Grab a hold of it. See, this is a prime example when deeper is better. If that rod you had could go a little bit deeper, you could bottom out. The wife would be happy not having to drift all the way through this thing. Now the PWC makes eye contact, looks right at him, and then just moves on. I'm not much of a help either over here on this side of the ramp anyway.
We'll swing over here and look at this front porch coming in. A female captain there. She's doing a good job. No wake. There he goes. He's using that pole very wisely. There it is. Now, wait a minute. You're telling me they had an oar the whole time? Safe and sound. All right, not sure what's going on here, but he's got those lines all tangled up and double knotted and twisted and double roped. This is when lines go from being lines to turning into rope. That was an all right cast. He threw it and lands over there on the starboard side. It's making me dizzy. And there's that. See you, man. All right, pay attention over here on the left-hand side. You got the lady in the red bathing suit over here. The strap goes bling. It was hooked up, but the clicker wasn't clicked. That's one key movement you gotta do, is you gotta put the clicker to click. Beautifully done. Don't worry, they got the clicker on the second one over there and everything was solid. I think she's going to check and recheck the guy's progress up here and make sure that thing's clicked. They got the handle, they're going to take care of business. Boat halfway on it, so they got it fixed now, though. Now, these two are jockeying for position over here. We're going to make sure we get them in. He's letting the trolling motor do all the work. Here's another one. This one's a bit deep. That one's over the rim right there. Well, if you're out with your buds and you want to ride, you got to leave an air gap between you and your friend in the front. You Otherwise, you're going to get called out on credit card captain. But when you do sit side saddle, that's called There's passenger princess. Uh, that truck I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. And you want to see some of the merch we got down there? Check out the link in the description below. I'll get you some stuff. We'll get it shipped out to you pretty quick. I want to thank you guys for watching. Where do you normally go?